step one, figure out the conclusion of the argument. See this first sentence here, end to end, forms the conclusion of the argument. This is the psychologist's opinion, his main point, and what follows is all explanation for his stand. Step two is to link the bold face with the conclusion. So if you read just this part of the paragraph, indicates a stand that the argument seeks to examine and the result of the examination is yes, it does happen. So with this groundwork, let's look at the answer choices. Answer choice A is very interesting. Many students will choose this. No, this is not the main conclusion. All of this from here to here is the main conclusion. To say that increased information allows us access to objectively greater choices alone is not the conclusion. The conclusion needs to cover both the aspects. The aspect of having greater choices, but then also having greater anxiety, indecision, paralysis and dissatisfaction. So a very interesting answer choice. If you could eliminate answer choice A and through the correct reasoning, a very good job. Look at answer choice B now. Yes, to call it a premise is alright. Remember, premise is a statement from which another statement is inferred. So this term is alright. However, then to say that the argument seeks to explain is not correct. This is something that the argument assumes to be true. The author makes no effort in explaining that increased information allows us access to objectively greater choices. Whatever efforts the author has put in explaining is for explaining the entire conundrum that happens because of excessive information, this entire bit here, greater anxiety, indecision, etc. And therefore, to say that the first bold face is a premise that the argument seeks to explain would not be correct. The argument seeks to evaluate perfect. It is an examination of the consequences of this premise here. See, I said examination of the consequences. Evaluate is a term that is on the lines of examination and implication is a term which is on the lines of consequences. So answer choice B is not correct. C is likely the correct answer choice. Let's hold it. Look at answer choice D now. No, the bold face is not something that opposes the main conclusion. The bold face is a basic information, a premise that forms the basis of the conclusion. So it cannot be opposing the main conclusion. So a bad term here opposes. D should be eliminated. Look at answer choice E now. Once again, it is not something that the argument seeks to oppose. The argument assumes this to be true in coming up with the complete conclusion here. So the argument cannot be opposing the first bold face and therefore answer choice E should be very comfortably eliminated. Let's confirm answer choice C now. To call this an observation is all right. This is a premise, a factual finding and therefore the term observation is perfectly all right whose implication the argument seeks to evaluate. Yes, the argument examines the consequences of this finding here, the idea of having objectively greater choices. And then through this complete explanation here, the argument comes up with the overall conclusion here. And therefore, yes, the bold face is an observation whose implications the argument seeks to evaluate. The buzzwords here are observation, implication and evaluation. C is the correct answer choice.